Often it is convenient to draw an angle in standard position. This is where we measure from the initial arm on the positive x-axis to the terminal arm, even if the terminal arm falls in a different quadrant. So if an angle we are given is greater than 90 degrees, that means we first need to figure out what quadrant it falls in. Furthermore, if a given angle is positive, we must move in the counterclockwise direction. But if an angle is negative, we have to sweep in the clockwise direction. I like to just move in 90 degree increments until we reach the appropriate quadrant. Keep track of how many 90 degree increments you used, and then we can just add the remaining part of the angle. So, example, draw the angle 130 degrees in standard position. So the first step is recognizing that the angle is positive. That means we will move in the counterclockwise direction. Next, we can see the angle is greater than 90 degrees. So we need to figure out which quadrant to put our terminal arm in. Moving one 90 degree increment in the counterclockwise direction has us in the second quadrant. If we were to move two 90 degree increments, we would be at 180 degrees, which is too much. So we know that the angle is gonna fall in the second quadrant. Thus, if we want to represent 130 degrees, we just need to find a number that adds to 90 degrees to make 130. In this case, that's 40 degrees. It is important that we are drawing the 40 degrees from the y-axis in the second quadrant, not the x-axis. Don't lose sight of the fact that we're trying to draw 130 degrees from our initial arm.